Okay, so before we go fly, we need to check the rotation uh, direction of all the propellers. So I've got the quad facing away from us. So this is front, back, right, and left, the way it would be when you first start flying it. Uh, before we turn this on, though, we need to check and make sure we've got all our settings and our transmitter correct. So I'm going to go into my transmitter. We're using a Spectrum. I've got an Acro or Airplane model set up, brand new model. Um, I've adjusted some things in here already, but you'll see what those are. I go into my servo setup. I want to check the travel adjust on everything. So I've got throttle, aileron, those are all 100%. Elevator, that's right, rudder. And then gear. Gear is the most important uh, for this in terms of the setup. Everything else should be pretty close to what you need to fly. The, the gear is actually the uh, gain, the primary gain of the craft. So if I move this down to, let's say, 50, that's a pretty good starting gain. I don't know how this is going to behave yet. So 50% is what the Hoverfly Pro will use as the primary gain for everything. Now you notice there's two settings here, and that's if you switch the gear switch, and that's to enable uh, auto level. This will be the gain when I enable the switch that is used in, in uh, auto level. But we're not going to go through that in this video. We're just doing basic flying today. So uh, this, uh, which, whichever position, let's see, this is the zero position off. That's the position we're going to use for our primary gain, and I've got that set to uh, 50%. So, okay, everything's set up correctly now. I can go back. And I'm ready to turn on the, the uh, quad for the first time here. So I'm going to plug in the battery. And you're going to hear a whole bunch of noises. Those are the ESCs starting up. You're going to want to watch the LED on your board. And hopefully you can see it in this video. It's blinking green right now. Okay, It's waiting for us to do something. So if I take my transmitter and I raise the throttle up, nothing's going to happen. Okay, I need to arm it. So now I'm, it's ready to be armed. So I go left and then right. I should get one beep and then two beeps. You notice that the LED blinks red and then it stays red, and now it's green. Green means it's armed. Let's go through that again. I'm going to disarm it this time. I'm going to go left and then right. It's now disarmed. I've got a blinking green uh, light right now. If I raise the throttle, nothing happens. Okay, I'm going to arm it. It's now armed, or it's arming. When I get my solid green light, I'm good to go. Now, when it's going through that arming process, I'm going to disarm it again. When it's going through the arming process, and I've got that solid red light, if I move it around, it's going to blink purple. And then it goes back to blinking green. That means that the calibration it does when it starts up failed. So it's going to go back to ready to be armed mode and I give it a left right. I don't move it this time and I've got a solid green. Now I'm ready to uh, increase the throttle. Now I want to do this just a tiny bit. What I'm looking for is rotations. Let's start with the front propeller. The front propeller should be rotating clockwise. And it is. The back propeller should be rotating clockwise. And it's not. So I'm going to disarm. Take two of these connectors, the bullet connectors. These bullet connectors. I'm going to take two, unattach them, and then reattach them in the opposite configuration. So I switch two of them. Now I'm going to arm it again. And I've got clockwise direction now. 
So I've got clockwise, clockwise. Now this has to be going counterclockwise. It's not. And that one needs to be going counterclockwise. And it's not. So I got pretty unlucky. So that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and switch two of these. Arm it again. And I've got counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and clockwise. Now, at this point, if I wanted to see how it was going to behave as I throttled up and I mounted it to the bench, if I hold it here and try to throttle up, you can do that, but understand that the Hoverfly Pro is going to assume that it's flying and try to start making adjustments to the motors. So if you hold it down, don't be surprised if, if, the, if it starts going like this. It's trying to control the flight without being held down. I mean, that's how the algorithm works. So if you're going to bench test, that's okay, but understand that the motors aren't going to behave in a linear fashion. They're going to be trying to make the platform level and it's being held down so it, it's confused. So we're going to disarm it and unplug and go out and fly. We'll see how this thing flies.